Meanwhile tonight, a controversial Cobb County plant suspends operations. Sterogenics is accused of emitting cancer-causing levels of toxic air. The company uses ethylene oxide to sterilize medical equipment. Tonight, CBS 46 has learned that Sterogenics has suspended all sterilization operations until at least early October. The company says it's to speed up construction on upgrades to the plant to reduce emissions. And that plant sits right on the Cobb Fulton County line near Smyrna tonight. We've also learned Sterogenics is at the center of a new lawsuit. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy live in Smyrna with that part of the story. Jonathan, the case filed today involving Stereogenics regards a consent order entered into between the company and the Georgia EPD, which the plaintiffs say was unlawful. After a number of months making headlines for releasing the deadly carcinogen ethylene oxide into the air in Cobb County, the first legal action involving stereogenics filed today in Fulton Superior Court. State Senator Jen Jordan and two residents living near stereogenics are the plaintiffs in the case, which argues the consent order agreed upon between stereogenics and the EPD on August 7th was unlawful. Something that was negotiated behind closed doors and we believe that if negotiated in the open with scientific data, with all the facts considered, we'll end up with a very different order that is better for the community and the safety of those who live here. What that means is that according to the plaintiffs, the consent order agreed upon was done without allowing for a period of public comment and agreed upon without the correct scientific data. In the filing, it says that the serious nature of emitting ethylene oxide into the community and the implications warrant correct scientific data to be available before any consent order should be considered, something those leading the charge say needs to happen. Study the problem under the way the law sets up for it to be studied, a period of public comment. And we don't have the testing data, and we won't have testing data of what their fix is, or their supposed fix, until that's done. The court date for the case will be set in the next 30 days. Live in Smyrna, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.